worked in tech for a decade. Decade is 10 years for those who don't know. Worked in cloud, software engineering, product development, cloud engineering. I've done and seen it all. This year, I decided to go all in on myself and on my businesses because life's too short to play it safe. You have to take risk. The ones that take risks are the ones that are rewarded. Now we see a lot of vlogs on YouTube, day in the lives, week in the lives, and you see the flashy lifestyle of people online, lucky Mark Gadsley. But something you guys need to be aware of that that is actually part of his brand. He's selling that lifestyle to his audience. So he has to keep maintaining that. And of course he's done very well for himself. What I'm trying to say is that the day to day of an actual entrepreneur isn't as pretty as you see. It's not as flash as you see. It's not reality. The reality is you wake up, you get to work, right? Head down, get to work. You're on calls most of the time, you know, speaking to your team, speaking to partners, building relationship, getting revenue in, all that kind of stuff. So I just finished a boxing session and I'm now back at my desk ready for a working session. But I just wanna to talk to you guys through what I actually do because a lot of people on YouTube, they say they're entrepreneurs, they say they have businesses, but they're never super clear on what exactly their businesses do. Now, I have a technology background. I've worked in tech for the last decade. I've worked in software engineering, cloud engineering, consulting, worked with Fortune 500 companies. I've worked with small startups, government agencies. I've done and seen it all. But only a few months ago, I quit my job to go full time on myself because like I said before, life is short and I don't wanna be spending my time building someone else's dream, especially because from very young, I was always setting up businesses. When I was 14, I was building websites for clients. I set up e-commerce stores. I set up clothing brands. I've done flipping products. I've done literally everything you can imagine. And I never really realized that I was meant to be an entrepreneur until I spoke to a coach. At one of my previous jobs, they had like a business coach, a life coach kind of person. I booked in a random call because why not? May as well use the benefits. And I was explaining to him what I do and what I like. And he said to me, so what do you think you are? I was like, I don't know. He's like, you're an entrepreneur. And I was like, yes, I am. But I never really internalized it. So I always have great ideas. But yeah, from March, I quit my job. I was making $15,000 a month. And I quit that job to go all in on myself because my vision is a lot bigger than what I was doing there. Now I've got three main businesses. Firstly, I've got my cloud education company. Where we help beginners build and launch their cloud careers. Secondly, I've got my AWS consultancy where we build world-class products for clients on AWS. And thirdly, I'm building an AI startup that's going to change the future of technology education. Me and my engineering team are working on that right now. More on that later. But those are my three core businesses. Of course, YouTube is a business as well. Fundamentally, I am in a new position that I've never been in before. No one's telling me what I should be doing. It's all on me. And that's the key difference between what I was doing before and what I'm doing now. Before I had someone I was reporting into that would tell me what I should work on. Now I'm responsible for what I do and what I focus on myself. All right, so now we're going to deploy our Terraform infrastructure. So what I want you to do is I want you to navigate to your folder, your blog folder for your personal website that we're using for your Next.js application. I'm using my terminal command line rather than VS Code. Just working, mate. I'm quite a busy week too far. Um, yeah, mine is the same. Still trying to reach out and get new clients for the consultancy. The academy is growing. YouTube is doing fine. So yeah, like my focus now is like growing the consultancy. But yeah, like the content that you're making, that, that will help because I've not seen like the, this content strategy that I've come up with, I've not seen anyone do something similar. Because my clients are on LinkedIn, right? They're not yeah. gonna be coming through YouTube, they'll be coming via LinkedIn. So I really need to utilize that platform and like maximize content. So my idea is to post on there daily and then just break down like technical concepts. We're looking at the ICP, the offer variations, all that kind of stuff. It looks good to me. It's just the offer yeah. stuff. We could slightly tweak that rather than going purely security. We can also just go like general cloud, like modernization, you know, cloud migrations, that sort of offering as well, along with like security audits, you know, DevSecOps, that sort of. Thing. So I've just been in back-to-back -back calls so far today, as I mentioned earlier. 
I still have two more calls with the students inside the academy. I'm just so keen to help them out. I'm putting in time to prepare them for mock interviews. So how it works is students on board, they start the academy, they go through the modules. And when they get to week five, then I say to them, now you guys are ready to start looking for jobs and start applying for jobs. And what they do is they book a call with me and then I assess their current skill set their ability, and then we work out a plan to get them to that next stage, which is finding a job. I know what you guys are thinking, like how do you manage your schedule, right? How are you doing three different businesses plus YouTube and everything else that I've got going on? And it's very, very simple. I wake up super early. I wake up at 4.30 and I'm in bed by 10. That's like my working day. And how I stay productive is I split my day into four 90 minute blocks. And then I prioritize my work from Monday to Saturday. So Monday and Tuesday, I focus on the most highest priority work. Wednesday and Thursday, I focus on the medium priority work. And then Friday and Saturday, I focus on the low priority work. And then on some days, I review the week that I've had, and then I also plan the following week ahead. This has helped me, A, focus on the most important and the most pressing and the highest priority task at the start of the week. So as the week goes on, it kind of just gets a little bit easier for me. And how have you found the first three modules, like the first three weeks of the modules? Oh, I found them so, like, so exciting and engaging as well, like yeah. it made me that I haven't done like in a very long time. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I just finished the call with one of the students and I was just thinking like, I've not actually processed that there's like hundreds of students inside of my Cloud Engineer Academy all starting their cloud journeys because of the videos that I've been making. And that's inspired them to take action in the cloud engineering space. And that's just such an incredible feeling. Like I've not really had time to sit down and just think about the impact my channel and my videos having on all of you guys. So yeah, it's really, really inspiring. It's motivating that I can make an impact to so many people. And the students that I've met so far, they're all so nice. They're all so committed. They're all so friendly and easygoing. And that makes me wanna work even harder to help them secure their dream cloud roles. So yeah, that's why I'm really pushing to build out my consultancy so I can give students in the academy a real world experience with actual clients through my consultancy. So we train them up, we help them get cloud experience, and then we also give them opportunities inside of our cloud consultancy business. That's the dream, that's the vision. So a long way to go, but yeah, it's, it's really, really exciting and inspiring. So I've just finished another day of back-to-back -back meetings. The intention of this vlog was just to film a day in my life. And I've realized as I've been filming this, I just sit behind my desk all day long, either making content, either speaking to the students in the academy, either doing outreach for my businesses. But fundamentally, I just sit on this desk every day, grinding away and that's just where I am at this point in my life and just building my businesses. Now I'm very, very fortunate to be able to do this and to be able to work for myself. And to be honest, that's what makes me happy. Just being able to work towards a goal, be able to grow myself, my businesses. And a question I always like to ask myself is what would you do if you won like millions and millions of pounds, right? I always ask myself that and I always come back to the same answer. I would be doing exactly what I'm doing now, creating content, building businesses and growing my Cloud Engineer Academy. So ask yourself that question. What would you do if you became a millionaire tomorrow? Would you be doing what you're doing right now? And if it's a no, then you might have to reevaluate what you're doing and what you could be doing instead. Because you really need to just make the most of your time and make the most of the work that you do. Because we spend a significant amount of time of our lives working. So we wanna be working on things that we enjoy. But right now, where I'm at, I wake up, I hit the gym, 
I do work, I film content, and I go out for dinner, grab a coffee. That's just me in a nutshell. And I know we see the flashy lifestyle I've mentioned before. People will show you the cars, the traveling. All that stuff is designed for marketing, for you to see that lifestyle. But fundamentally, no one's ever got successful without putting in the work. So you have to also put in the work, whether you wanna become a cloud engineer, whether you wanna build your own business, whether you wanna get that promotion at work, it doesn't really matter. What matters is the work that you put in. And just to clarify, putting in 15, 16 hours a day doesn't mean you're gonna get the result. It's not really about working hard, but it's about working hard on the smart things. So working hard on the things that move the needle. For example, if you wanna get your first cloud engineer job, you don't wanna spend all your time working on certifications. You wanna work on building projects and getting your hands dirty and building that practical experience. That's what moves the needle for you and your goal. For me, the tasks that make a difference is making more content, reaching out to more businesses, and getting the name out there. So don't always think about the here and now, also think about the next few weeks, the next few months, the next few years, and then you wanna work backwards. I know what I'm working on now is going to pay me back in the next few years because cloud computing is only growing every single year and it's not going anywhere. Data science is also built on top of the cloud. AI is being built on top of the cloud. All these applications are built on top of the cloud. So me investing my time in cloud engineering, I know my businesses will thrive over the next five to 10 years. Of course, I have to be able to adjust and adapt, for example, thinking about AI and how we can integrate that into the Cloud Engineer Academy, into the YouTube channel, into my consulting business. So that's another thing to take away. Now, earlier this week, I put out a LinkedIn post and a tweet some of you guys may have already seen it. But what I said was, if you wanna become a good cloud engineer, you wanna master a specific service like EC2. If you wanna become a great cloud engineer, master a domain like security. If you wanna become the best cloud engineer, master yourself and your ability to learn and adapt. Because fundamentally, technology changes and it changes at a rapid speed. So what you wanna be able to do is learn how to learn and learn how to adapt to new tools, new technologies, and new environments. I know this video has become more of a talking head video, uh, but fundamentally, I don't wanna show you guys a very, very luxurious lifestyle to sell you this dream, to go buy a course. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show you what it really takes to build a business what it really takes to get a cloud engineer job. And that is just very simple, is having a plan, putting in the time, and not deviating from that plan. Because it's so easy to get distracted. You really only need three to six months of focus to change your life. Six months of saying no to random online courses. Six months of unbroken focus on your cloud engineer roadmap. Six months of removing yourself from environments that aren't supporting your goals. You just need to lock in and focus. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys. I don't really know what this video has turned out to be, but hopefully you found it informative, you found it engaging, you've learned a thing or two, but, uh, but yeah. But it's also giving me that view that I'm just working, hitting the gym, eating food, and that's what I'm happy to do. It's the boring things that make me happy. It's the boring things that get you results but you have to be consistent. I did not get to where I am now by being inconsistent. Where I am now is a reflection of what I was doing three, four, five years ago. Where you are now is also a reflection of what you were doing years ago. So if you wanna change your future, you need to start changing right now. Anyway, I've gone completely off topic, but hopefully you found this video helpful. And as always, thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys very soon for yet another video. Peace.